Hello friends, this video on acids, bases and salts part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered in this lesson are introduction, acids, bases, indicators, neutralization, salts and examples from daily life. So first we want to see that why at all we want to learn about acids, bases and salts and what are they, what are acids, what are bases and how do they play a role in our day to day life. So whenever something plays an important role in our life only then we want to learn more about them. So let's first see where do we find acids and bases. Now acids and bases even though the name looks little uncommon maybe new to you at this level but actually these are very common solutions which exist everywhere a lot of liquids that we use or that we encounter on day to day basis they are either acidic in nature or basic in nature so they basically contain some acid or some base so let us look at some of uh, the some of such things which we come across very frequently but we never knew that they contain some acid or they contain some base so one such thing is the lemon and the citrus fruits, lemon or limes or oranges, they are all called citrus fruits. Do you know why? Because they contain acid. They contain an acid called citric acid and due to the presence of citric acid, they have been given the name citrus fruits. You think of uh, something like vinegar. So do you think what, what exactly is vinegar? It, it is a watery liquid. It is often used for cooking purposes. For example, for preparing the Chinese dish, dishes, vinegar is uh, most commonly used. So vinegar again contains an acid that is acetic acid. So this is also acidic in nature. You think of the soft drink, Coke, Pepsi, Fanta, Coca-Cola. So what are these? So these soft drinks also contain acids and they contain carbonic acid. So they are also acidic in nature. Think of something like the soda, baking soda, which is often used for preparing things like um, whichever is used for baking. For example, while baking a cake, we put into the flour uh, baking soda. It is also used to prepare a lot of other things. Uh, not only baking soda, in fact, the washing soda which is used for washing clothes so they also they are not acidic in nature instead they contain a base so they are basic in nature some medicines like uh, have you ever uh, felt stomachache due to indigestion sometimes when you eat uh, a lot of junk food eat a lot of uh, oily and not so hygienic food outside what happens you sometimes get stomach problem you sometimes get digestion problem the food doesn't get digested properly and therefore you feel a discomfort in your stomach so what do you do then so to so remove that acidity you say that i am feeling acidity inside my stomach so how, how do you remove acidity with the help of antacid tablets so these antacid tablets they are again antacid that means they are not acid so what are they they are basic so they contain a base in them again it is not necessary that all objects that we see around us it has to be either acidic or basic now there can be certain substances for example the sugar which is neither acidic nor basic so they are basically neutral in fact there are other substances also like salt like uh, you take example of water water sometimes behave like an acid water can sometimes also behave like a base so basically we do not include water under the category of either acid or base even the soap which we use either for um, bathing purpose or for washing clothes or for cleaning utensils so all these soaps they also contain base so they are also basic in nature soap bleaches uh, they are all basic in nature so you see all these things are very commonly used by us in our day-to-day -day life and they all contain either acid or base uh, and a lot of them contain neither of them in fact not only these items a lot of items which are edible and which we consume so they also contain some um, acids and some bases for example curd 
So we all consume curd either in raw form or in some other type of dishes. So curd also contains an acid called lactic acid. We all eat spinach. So spinach is also acidic in nature and it contains oxalic acid. So you see so many things they contain these acids and a lot of things contain bases. So now we really want to know what are acids and what are bases and what are their characteristics. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.